Uh, or to ask another question, why do the majority of Iraqis, the large, when Iraqis are, at, we have the published polls, Iraqis are asked, who's your favorite foreign leader? The favorite foreign leader of Iraqis, according to U.S.-run polls, is President Chirac of France, who was the symbol of opposition to the invasion. George Bush is far below, uh, Blair even less below. Nevertheless, the same polls show, say, yeah, we're glad to get rid of Saddam Hussein. Well, if we want to think about this, we'll be able to figure out what's happening. Sure, they would like to get rid of Saddam Hussein. They would have liked to have gotten rid of him years ago. I mean, in 1991, they almost did get rid of him. But the U.S. supported Saddam so that he could crush the rebellion, which probably would have overthrown him. And we know why. Well, I'm not sure they supported him so that he could they cr crush the rebellion. They authorized him. They effectively well, authorized him to crush the rebellion. I'm not sure that, that well, many people... Well, but you got well, Let's look back Professor to the... Let's at least let me make one point. Yeah. Is that, I mean, it, it clearly was a mistake what in was 1991. Well, was it a mistake? It, sure it was. To allow but him to, allow him to crush I think the rebellion. It was a mistake. Yes, I do too. Did George Bush think it was a mistake? No. Uh, Did Thomas Friedman of the New York Times think it was a mistake? I don't know. I can't no. speak for George Did, Bush and Thomas Friedman. Well, did the New York, did, did the press think it was a mistake? I mean, to, just take a look back and look at the analysis. And to allow him to, take a look to have analysis. helicopters and be able to crush the... Take a look the, at the analyses. The analysis... The Shias and the, exactly. who George Bush let's, let's had take, asked to, who had asked to rise up? Let's take a look at the analyses at the time. That's what we should be looking at. The, you can read it in, say, the New York Times, the most important newspaper in the world. Their analysis was Alan Cowell, their Middle East correspondent. Right. Uh, that much as we dislike the atrocities, there's an overwhelming consensus that uh, Saddam Hussein offers more hope for the stability of the country, stability is a kind of technical word, stability of the country than the people who are trying to overthrow him. In other words, we'd rather have him than the people who are trying to overthrow him. Thomas Friedman, well, maybe was, they were at, uh, Thomas Friedman who was the diplomatic car, chief diplomatic correspondent, wrote uh, the best possible solution for the United, the best possible world for the United States would be an iron-fisted military junta ruling Iraq the same way Saddam Hussein did, much to the satisfaction. Well, I'm sure, of, this I know Mr. Friedman, and I am the, sure he did not is, mean using the torture really? and using the technique. Yes, Then I why am. did he say it? Well, but he may very well have believed See, that, 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 was that he a, may very well, he, must, he may very well, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm leery of speaking for anyone like this, right. of, of George Bush or Tom Friedman, but he may very well have meant that, that Iraq, because of whatever fears he had, that it would break up the balkanization of Iraq, whatever, and therefore it needed a okay, Tito-like let, figure. Let's say he may right. have meant that. Let's say Iraq, but then, see, that means that from the point of view of U.S. policymakers and U.S. commentators, it wasn't a mistake. I think it was a mistake. You think it was exactly. a mistake, but they didn't. Right. The the uh, uh, analysts and the policymakers thought it was right. Well, they I, preferred. Yeah. So, and then let's look at I the next. Bet let's look the, at the I bet next. you the neocons who you find so much fault with there did not think it was a mistake. Well, we don't know. They, well, I mean, see, the they Wolf, were they the were, Wolfowitz of the world probably do, don't really? think it was a mistake. Well, let's take a look at the Wolf not to have overthrown Saddam because right, I mean they've been driven by overthrowing Saddam since 1991. You'll agree with that, won't you? No, I don't. That let's they take, haven't been driven by the notion. It's just too narrow a question. Let's take a look at the Wolfowitzes of the world. Okay. He has a record, right? Right. His record is, mm -hmm. for example, strong support of General Suharto, who is exactly... When he served in Indonesia. And afterwards, up until 1997, a couple of months before Suharto was overthrown, he was still praising him. Uh, Suharto was a mass murderer. Uh, probably worse than Saddam Hussein. He came into power killing a couple hundred thousand people. He ran a regime of vicious torture and oppression. He invaded East Timor, practically destroyed it. Uh, his torture and massacres were going on right to the end of his rule. Uh, Wolfowitz was praising him because of his uh, uh, contributions to the uh, growth and development of uh, Indonesia. At that Actually, time, Wolfowitz so, served as ambassador to Indonesia. This, this started when he was uh, in the State Department with responsibility for Asia, Southeast Asia in particular, went on, was in, he was in uh, uh, as ambassador to Indonesia, and it continued through his post-government service. Mm -hmm. I think he was uh, dean but what, what, Okay, but what, that, that's, uh, that's, that's only but... one example. As uh, in, under his watch as State Department uh, uh, high official in the State Department with, with responsibility for Asia, the Reagan administration under his watch, supported a whole range of murderous dictators, like Chun of South Korea, 
I support him up to uh, the what, end. What, okay, I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it's, I, I remember or, Chun, and I'm not sure when he came uh, in and when he, he didn't. He, have, he but was there thrown was, out. The whole series of American by, administrations, which is your point exactly, a whole series of American administrations supported a whole series of leaders in South Korea. Absolutely, and Wolfowitz was responsible, was in charge, uh, almost in charge, you know, second in command yeah. of the State Department, right up to the end. Marcos in uh, the Philippines is okay. another. Let me now, there are all kind of fake stories being concocted about this now, but I would urge people to go back to the original record and see what happened. All right. This book, Noam Chomsky, uh, Hegemony or Survival, America's Quest for Global Dominance. Uh, we'll talk more about all these issues Great. with him and others. I thank you for coming. Great. Pleasure to have you. Thank you, thank you very much. Good. Thank you for joining us. We went the hour. Uh, more to be said tomorrow night. Tony Marson is here and others. See you then. Funding for Charlie Rose has been provided by the following. The Coca-Cola Mexico Foundation built school shelters where children from remote villages stay during the week, cutting their commute to school from six hours to 60 seconds, satisfying a thirst for education. The Coca-Cola Company. Additional funding for Charlie Rose was also provided by these funders. and by Bloomberg, a provider of multimedia news and information services worldwide. We are PBS.